boop, 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 boop. Deserve one of these, man. You did a good job today. You did a good job. Good job. You deserve a treat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just got myself a treat for doing very well today. Ending the week off very well. I'll be back. Give me a second. Hey guys, it's Key. It's Key Life Trading. Thanks for tuning into another video. So today, another green day. And I'm very excited that I ended the week very strong. And I hope you guys did well too. So if anything, put in the comment section, as usual, if you guys did good, if you guys did bad, if you guys could give me some feedback on how I'm trading, give, you know, help me out. But today, I did very well, and I'm very happy, right? I did kind of mess up on some things. Need to lock in my discipline a little bit tighter. I'm still getting there. I'm working on it. And so far this week, I've been doing good with my discipline, but today, I kind of was shaky, and I feel like I was getting back to where I started, but at the end of the day, we know that discipline as a day trader is very hard. If you don't have the mind for it, it's gonna be hard. We're not wired like that, right? So we have to be disciplined and that's what I'm trying to do to help myself be a better and more successful trader. Discipline was one of the things that was holding me back and I'm working very hard on it. But today I traded what, two, let's see. I traded, yeah, two stocks today. I traded ICEE. -E, and also Pixie. Pixie been on fire since yesterday. News came out yesterday and it's on fire. So Pixie, I made around $207. Took two, I got two winning trades on that. On ICEE, -E, I got a loser and a winner. The loser was just, like I said, the discipline part was why I have that loser. I traded again, got in on the right direction, made some money, but we're gonna tune in, we're gonna tap in on the charts, and we're gonna discuss what I did today. So let's go. So as I was saying, today was a very good day, right? Discipline, I'll give my discipline like an 80%. I need it to be 90%, 100%, right? So the first trade I took, as you can see, Pixie going bananas, but the first trade I took was on ICEE, -E, right here. Right, so let's type that in. So ICEE. -E. And this happened to me another time where I got tricked up into this play. Right, so ICEE, -E, I seen that, well news came out for ICEE, -E, that's one. So I think it was some good news that came out on ICEE, -E. I forgot what the headline was. And I seen that pre-market, it was kind of falling down, it was going down, and I was looking Oh, hold on, sorry. Let's go pre-market. So pre-market went up and it started slowly coming down right here. This is pre-market and slowly dying down. So I'm thinking, okay, picks, um, ICEE -E have been going up for the past, what, three days? And this is the daily chart. So let me zoom that in for you. For the past, well, actually, one, two, three, four days, it's been going up crazy. So I'm thinking, okay, this is not going to go up any higher. And pre-market this was kind of slowly grinding down but boy i was wrong so i attempted to take a trade on it to the downside and this is where my discipline needs to be in check one of my main rule is i'm only trading patterns if i see a pattern i'm going to trade it but i'm so eager to short this I just seen that these two, I seen these two red candles on the one, the one minute chart. I seen these two red candles on the one minute chart and I'm like, okay, this is gonna go down. Boy, I was wrong. I'm gonna tell you what price range I got in. Hold on, let me pull my, okay, here it is. The first trade was at 9.35. So 9.35 around here, just around here. So I'm thinking, okay, the next candle is gonna come down to break this um, low, which was, the low of this was um, 10.20. So I'm thinking, okay, we're at 10, um, we're gonna break down and go through um, 1020. So I got an entry at, uh, I said 1020, sorry, 1820. So I got in at 1820 thinking it's gonna break this low of 1820 and it bounced up. I'm like, okay, I'm thinking, okay, it, it might be a, a little rebound because it's, you know, it was a, um, a, a whole number. It was gonna be a little pullback and then attempt to come back down but boy, I was wrong. It went all the way back up and I'm like, wow. 
This is the same thing that happened to me the other day when I traded it. I traded it. It came down like it was breaking down, found support and bounced all the way back up and basically went up the whole day. And this kind of did the same thing. And I was like, okay, this cannot be happening to me again. And after that, I'm like, you know what? Let's refocus. Let's get back into the right groove. What is the direction of the market? What's the direction of the stock? And I said, okay, it's going up. So then I finally got back in my groove and I got in at um, 938, 200 shares at 1896. So, um, so 938, so around here with, um, with 200 shares. And I got in at what price I said? 18, no, yeah, 1896. So 1896 was around here anticipating the break to go higher. And it did exactly that and went higher and higher. And I took profit around 1918. So around here, I did short sell my, I did short sell myself. I should have um, held it longer. And as you can see, it went up all the way. And this is just something that regular, regularly do. Um, once it goes in that direction, it just continue going in that direction for a good period of time. So I got in, I got out a little bit early and I recoup majority of my loss. As you can see, the first trade, I lost 130. This was the first trade. I lost $134. And then the second trade, which was the winning trade down here, I made $122. And I regained majority of my loss. Um, I was down $30 based on the trade because of commission. So even though I was down $30, um, $30 it was perfectly fine because I basically kind of recoup all my losses. It was just the commission fees, sorry, commission fees and whatever the case may be. Okay, so the next trade that I took was on Pixie. So Pixie, let's put it up, Pixie. This one been going up very strong for the past two days. Yeah. So let's pull it up. Past two days, been going up strong. Yesterday went up from, it went to a low of $19.10. I went to a high of $32. Wow. So today, I know a lot of people was looking for a continuation for this. So I was one of those people looking for that continuation. As you can see, this went to a low of 27.22, went to a high of 39.50, right? And I got a piece of the pie and I'm very excited. It was very delicious. So when, when I was looking at it, price action was going down and it went down a little bit too drastic for me. It went like drastically and I wasn't expecting it to be that drastic, but it kind of came down and I seen that price action slowly want to go up. It start you start seeing a slow grind and it was making, sorry about that market is closed. It started making higher lows. So you have a low here, you have a low here, higher low. You could call this another higher low. And then I'm like, okay, price action wants to go up and I'm going to take advantage of it. So the first trade I took um, of um, Pixie was around $32.70. Where was it? $32.70. I think it was around here, $32.70. And I got out at $33.34. So it was $32.70 around here. And then I took the ride up all the way up to $33.34. So around here. I did leave some on the table. And it was perfectly fine because what I did is I went in with 110 shares. And when I got to um, 33, 34, I basically sold 90% um, of my um, position. And I sold the rest when I seen that price was going down. And the reason why I sold all my position after that was because I know how this was very whip, whippy going down. And as you can see, this candle, when it went down, it was a long body red candle and i'm like okay so i'm not gonna stay in these position for long so i'm gonna get in and get out so i got in at the 30 um 3270 3270 around this price range and then i basically rolled it all the way up to 33 34 so around here and i took all my profit and went about my business and then i got off the computer took a break you know got myself back to center, you know, part of my discipline to get myself back centered. 
and I went in on a second trade around what time? It was around so 3:30, and I was watching this and I was kind of looking at it like, okay, if price action can break this pivot right here of 35.76, we should get a next rip up, right? So I got in a little bit early. I got in at 35. I mean 35.58. So around here. The opening, well, this basically the starting of this candle right here. I got in anticipating the break of this pivot, and it just flew up. And we did have the, well, I did have the, the strength of power hour in my favor, and this is one of the reasons why I also took the trade. So I seen that price action was slowly grinding up, and it was like, as you can see, it looked like it was like a spring load, a spring and loading. Like we have the top right here, and it's starting to go up and the, the lows is getting higher and higher and it's trying to spring load. And then when we got the spring load, we released and we got the big push up. And I went in at, with 120 shears and when it got to 36.26, so 36.26, I took half profit. So I took half of my profit right here and then I let the rest of it run. And the, the, the rest of it ran all the way to 37.18. So around here, 37.18, trying to get it on point. Anyways, around this price range, I took all of my profit. And as you can see, I ended up with $207.20. So today was a very good day. Discipline could have been a little bit more tighter, but like I said, it's something I'm working on. Rome wasn't built in one day. I'm building this small account and I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush anything. So I'm going to take this win. It's a very gr good win. And I'm very excited to end the week in this space. I'm more motivated. So I have three consistent day as well. And I'm feeling good, feeling good. So you guys. Do all the YouTube stuff, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. If you want to join the Key Life Gang and join my journey, see my journey, see how I trade, you don't want to miss these videos because I want to be in a space where I can show you guys that you can also make money with a small account. You just have to be consistent and be disciplined. And the reason why I go so hard about discipline is because I'm trading with a small amount of money. So I need to be well aware of my discipline because if I don't have discipline, this can blow up in two or three trades, even less. So it's key life trading. Thanks for tuning in to another video. I'm out. Peace.